It's time to say goodbye to FIFA 17. It's been a spectacular year for making videos on FIFA 17. Now though, it is time for FIFA 18 content to start. On Tuesday, we're allowed to upload early FIFA 18 content, including tutorials, new skill moves, new celebrations, a lot coming your way. And that means it's time to say goodbye to FIFA 17. But what a year it has been for this game. It really has been for me, and probably a lot of other YouTubers would say this, it's probably been the best year for making content content on a FIFA. There's been more content than ever before. And with the introduction of SBCs, with Foot Champions, it's really opened up so many more videos for, for you guys. And it really has been the most fun year for any FIFA I can ever remember. It's been an insane year. Not gonna lie, it was kind of weird saying goodbye to FIFA 17, but it's time, man. We've got to say goodbye. Obviously in the future, we'll come back and do retro, like probably retro um, packs and all that kind of stuff. But with the new FIFA coming out, man, it, it's time. Saying that though, guys, what a year it's been with SBCs. For me, one of my favorite things about FIFA 17 was the SBCs, where you could get those guaranteed inform packs, guaranteed team of the season packs. The streams that we we're able to do because of that were just so great. It really was an amazing video video year, I'd say, for FIFA. I'd say for me personally, my favorite thing about FIFA 17 would be SBCs. Then it would probably be Foot Champs, although Foot Champs, we really did love or hate it, but at the same time, I still can't believe to this day I got 36 wins twice. I very nearly got a top 100, didn't quite get it. Hopefully in the new one I can get it. Um, but yeah, man, like overall, what a year with Foot Champions. So it's been very fun in a way, and it also has added a lot of stress to FIFA players. Anyone who's played Foot Champions, you know what I mean. If you get all that way to a penalty shootout when a guy equalizes in the 120th minute and then you lose on pens, it was, you, you really do get heated, man. Um, but it, it really was an insane and just very clever introduction to FIFA. I really do love Foot Champs, but at the same time, you do kind of hate it at the same time. But you know what? I don't know. You love and hate Foot Champs pretty much. For PAX as well, it's been a very fun year. Although there's been some streams when I've opened a lot of, um, a lot of packs and I haven't got anything. But then the next stream, I've got an unreal pack look. So it's again, a bit like Foot Champs. Packs are always a bit like a love and hate relationship, but still, um, I think it's been very fun. The fact that myself and the guys, Maverick Wolves, um, we packed Messi and also a ridiculous other card in the same pack was just an insane highlight for me. There's so many great um, highlights of this FIFA and I really do believe it's been the best FIFA for making videos on the journey. Holy shit, how could the hell that, for me, that doing that as a series this year, it blew up, man. Like the overall feedback on doing that, I'm gonna be doing the FIFA 18 journey, obviously guys as well. Um, in fact, if you wanna see, I'll, I'll let you guys know this now, we are going to the capture event. I mean, as in, or there's like a hundred people going, maybe more. Um, from I think Sunday morning until, I think it's until Tuesday, um, or is it? I think it's, yeah, but yeah. And let me know in the comments, do you wanna see the first episode of The Journey next week? What do you guys wanna see? Let me know. Um, obviously, I'm gonna write down like a list of probably 30 or more videos to make. I always I always just smash the capture event, man. You gotta just be ready for it. Um, obviously, gonna do packs, I'll do SBCs, I'll do squad, um, squad battles as well. But yeah, let me know what you want from the capture event. Um, but back to FIFA 17, man. It really has been a fantastic year for FIFA. I think we'd all agree. There's obviously issues that we need, well, EA need to address. And one of the biggest things I've actually really enjoyed this year, and I know it sounds weird because we're all FIFA nerds, let's face it. I, um, I've enjoyed doing like those FIFA update videos when the EA brought out a new update. And I don't know, I just like, I love the fact that EA have been more open this year. Um, in the end, I'd say, they've been a lot more open with just updating us. And I've enjoyed bringing you guys like the latest kind of news from them, because you you probably want to see that kind of stuff. And it's good fun. Um, yeah, it, it's cool. Look at that, man. Foot Champions is closed on FIFA 17. Competition is closed. Oh man, it's weird. It's gonna be weird seeing this game gone, but it's what happens, man, you gotta move on. Speaking of like my favorite cards this year in FIFA 17, I'd probably say the best card for me is this guy, um, wherever he is. By the way, look how many cards you could, you could have gotten in FIFA 17, man. It, this is why it's been the best FIFA. All of these new cards that wouldn't have been in 
previous FIFA's Player of the Month, the hype around Team of the Week and the SBC cards were through the roof this year, especially when streaming. I'm gonna make more, um, I'm gonna even, yeah, work harder this year to make streams hopefully even better for you guys. I've got a lot of ideas for streams, gonna be hopefully bigger and better, especially when I move to New York soon, that would be amazing um, to do more content. Anyway, Kante, for me, was my favorite card. I'm gonna give him the award, guys, of, of the card of the year. Well, item of the year will be Kante. By the way, if you didn't know that, cards are pretty much called items now, I think, in FIFA. It's like a copyright thing. Um, but yeah, Hazard was amazing. I've got to give it though to Kante. But I mean, this, this is what I'm saying, man. Like, these cards were not in previous FIFAs in terms of the types of cards. These are all from SBCs. And that's what I'm saying. It's been a fantastic year for all of the new content. These are kind of some of the, pa that, that guy was Lewandowski, that guy. That guy Lewandowski was the first owner from a uh, Team of the Week pack. I mean, that's what I'm saying. They were probably my favorite thing, followed by Foot Champions or The Journey. The Journey for me, I really did enjoy doing it. It was great fun. Gerard was great. Um, but yeah, man, like it's, 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 a bit, it's a bit weird saying goodbye to 317, I'm not gonna lie. Sun um, was awesome. Mbappe Lotten was a great card. I can't wait to go back in the future and go back and see these kind of cards. In the comments though down below, what was your favorite thing about FIFA 17? And be completely open about it, man. Like just say, was it the journey? Maybe you didn't enjoy FIFA 17 for some reason. Look how many games I've played, man. I've never played more than probably 700 games in Ultimate Team this year. Like I played so much for champs. Um, and I'd say an average, I'd probably go for 31 was my average, which I, I, I still can't believe I got that. But with just practice, you do just get better. Although I played foot like a bit over the last month and I have been absolutely dreadful. I wouldn't have got 25 wins if I um, played for champs now. But one, once I was in the zone and just kept you know, grinding to hopefully get a bit better. You do obviously practice, you, you, you're gonna improve. It's like when you play COD or PUBG, the more you play it, the better you're gonna get. Same with FIFA. Although I can't wait for a FIFA where there's just not as much crap involved. Um, but yeah, man, like, it's, it's, it's weird saying bye to FIFA 17. There's been a lot of glitches on the market, a lot of uh, cool like little things we found out. There's been, there's always like a kickoff glitch every year. Um, and yeah, man, it's, 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 uh, it's been a great year. Team of the Week has finally got a bit better, but the fact that SBCs are hopefully gonna be bigger and better than before as well, it's gonna be a great year for FIFA 18. If it's, in a way, it feels like FIFA 17 was a bit of a warm up for the things to come in FIFA 18. Um, and I can't wait to see what happens in the new FIFA. But yeah, man, this is official, guys. This will probably be my, it, it may not be, but it's probably gonna be my last FIFA 17 video as FIFA 18 has literally it's pretty much already begun, like the transition into the new FIFA. It's gonna be fantastic here, daily videos all the time. Um, streams more than ever actually this year, really wanted to go to town on streams more and they were amazing. The transfer day on day stream guys, I looked at the stats, we had 900,000 people come by in the stream. So just insane support as always. It's been an amazing FIFA. Now though, um, it's time to go on to FIFA 80. Goodbye, FIFA. 17. Which flag is it? No! Oh my god! What the fuck? No! Guys, I finally got an insane reward! Come on!